Tonight, a father says he's afraid to let his children outside. He says a neighbor inappropriately touched himself within sight of his children, and now that man is facing charges. Les Sands' Lauren Landman reports parents are worried he'll be back home soon. Right in this front window of his house. It was a sunny Tuesday afternoon. Kids were just getting home from school and parents home from work. Brad Simmons was in his driveway with his children when he glanced across the street to his neighbor's home. Standing in his window completely nude and masturbating for the world to see. Simmons says his neighbor's blinds were completely open and he was staring across the street, right where kids were playing outside. It was clear as day. He called 911, and while he was waiting, other neighbors began gathering at his home. And within minutes, they say the man returned to the window. His whole body pressed up against the window nearly, uh, and he took down his pants, and, 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 and that was it. Deputies showed up, took a report, and two days later escorted the man, now identified as Ricky Oaks, out of his home and into a police car. He's been charged with six counts of public lewdness and one felony charge for indecency with a child. I couldn't have predicted this in a million years. They were so comfortable with Oaks. Neighbors say they've let their kids swim in his backyard pool and even invited him over for holidays. There was a time where I would have let them babysit my kids. Um, who knows what would have happened. But knowing what they know now and expecting him to bond out of jail, Neighbors say their sense of peace has changed. Unfortunately, we're going to have to keep the kids indoors more than we had already planned on it, so uh, it's going to be different. Lauren Landman, KXAN News. And we checked public records, and Oaks appears to have no criminal history. He is not a registered sex offender in Texas. The Texas Department of Public Safety makes it easy to learn if you live near a registered sex offender. They have posted a statewide database online. You can look up through an address or scroll down on an online map. Each offender is labeled for their crime and risk for repeat offenses. A registered offender must provide local law enforcement with their name, address, a color photograph, and the offense they were convicted of.